you were talking about the flip-flop between the conscious and unconscious states um, that we know as sleep. Um, so w- what's what's happening there? And when I want to ask you what's happening there, I mean, so we, we go into this unconscious state and and we, we produce dreams and um, yeah. and, and yeah. sort of th- things of this nature. Um, what What is our best guess as to what the role of dreams are and their evolutionary advantage in all this? Yeah. Uh, so of course, sleep is is highly structured. You've got this cycle of non-REM going from 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 uh, an electrical activity that you can record from the surface of, of of the skin on the skull, very small, low amplitude, very high frequency oscillations when you're awake, and that gets bigger and slower until you get into deep sleep uh, with slow rolling electrical waves, and that's the phase when we probably are consolidating our memory and processing information. Um, There's some sort of dreaming going on in slow wave sleep, but actually it's the other phase of sleep, which is called REM sleep. So you bounce from slow, deep, non-REM sleep into REM sleep. And it's then you have your vivid and most complicated dreams. So why? Well, there's no complete consensus but the, I suppose what people would mostly say is that REM sleep is that phase of sleep when we're dealing with our emotional issues. We're trying to sort of work through any issues that we might be having. An illustration of that was a lovely study that looked at New Yorkers after the Twin Towers were destroyed by terrorist action. And people were not recapitulating that experience. They weren't seeing in their dreams towers, you know, planes going to towers, okay. which is interesting because, of course, that was the image that kept on going on the television. Right. What their dreams, their anxiety dreams were of being mugged or being overwhelmed by a tsunami. And so, so this has been part of the evidence base that, that dreaming is, is um, our brain trying to make sense of an, a, a complicated emotional state. Um, so, in fact, Dreams are, are great. I mean, they, they, they help us sort out a complicated uh, world. Um, and I, I sort of kind of likened it to um, a jigsaw puzzle. So, okay. so you can think of it, you know, there's, there's a partly formed jigsaw puzzle within the brain. Uh, and then new bits of information come in. And then whilst we're asleep, we're trying to sort of put those new bits of the jigsaw puzzle in place. Now, sometimes we get it right. We put it in the right place. Other times we're putting it into the wrong place. And so there's bizarre associations and and, and weird coincidences. And again, I think it's just the brain rifling through and trying to make sense of, of, of a complicated world. Many people get very anxious about their dreams and you shouldn't because it's, it's a sign that the, the, the brain is doing what it's supposed to do, which is help you survive, you know, dealing with, with, with ghastly things. Um, so yeah, but, but I should say, a lot of people feel that dreams have predictive um, value, right, I was and going to that they, that. you know, all the rest of it. There is absolutely no scientific evidence that that they are used that they they have any function in that sense. So, what if you have? Um, I, I think the argument back to what you just said might be: What if you have recurring dreams and they like terrorize you? Yeah. Well, and of course. You know, post traumatic stress is, right. is an example. Now, post traumatic is, is is different because that is a recapitulation of the event. You constantly re-see that mm. horrifying incident, and so that's different from 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 classical dreaming, whereby you're 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 processing an emotional set of responses. Uh, so, yeah, recurrent dreams, and I, I I the one I still have is 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 the one where you realize you've got an exam the next day and you haven't done any revision for it. Even at my great age, I still have that recurrent dream, which right. is, uh, during, interestingly enough, during times of anxiety and stress. That's the thing that pops back into my my cortex. That's, that is interesting. Um, so they're not entirely random. Um, they- no, 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 they will. They definitely have a structure. Um, but, and, and are they important? Well, um, I guess, yes, they are important. But... but if they, but they do, do they influence our our wake time actions and largely not because I see. most of us don't remember them. Again, it's 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 the brain, you know, working un, 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 undercover, right, right, <laughs> uh, trying to you know kind of get the facts right and, and get things sorted so that you are most able to make an important decision uh, based upon what your brain has has retained and processed when you're awake. I see. 